this is National 5 homework. It's question 12 from the Standard Grade Credit paper 2007. It's a paper 2, so it's a calculator question. And see what we've got here. So we've got a cylindrical uh, paperweight of radius 3 centimetres and height 4 centimetres is filled with sand. Calculate the volume of sand in the paperweight. Right, so first thing we're going to go for is the volume is equal to pi r squared h, so the volume of a cylinder. And what we're going to do from there is I'm going to substitute in the values that I need. So radius, radius equals 3. I'm going to square that. I'm going to multiply it by the height. The height is 4. There we go. So I'll multiply that in the calculator. 113.097 and some others. And if I round that up to one decimal place, 0.1, that's going to be centimetres cubed. That'll be two one decimal place. Okay, so that's part A complete. Um, another paperweight in the shape of a hemisphere is filled with sand. It contains the same volume of sand as the first paperweight, so the volume in there is going to be 113.1. Calculate the radius of the hemisphere. So with this type of question, we're going to be trying to use the formula and work backwards. We're given the formula here. Um, perhaps maybe you'd be given the, the volume of a sphere and you'd have to work it back from that in National 5. But let's take the question as it is. So what we're doing is we're going to start with V is equal to 2 thirds pi r cubed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the opposite things when I want to work these, these round. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over just to get it to the right side first of all, where r is going to be equal to. And what I'll do is I'll try and remove everything else and try and leave r equals from this side here. Okay, so what I'll do is I've, I'm dividing here by 3, so the first move I'm going to make is I'm just going to do it a bit at a time. I'm going to multiply this side by 3. So all I've done there is multiply by 3. I'm then going to be dividing by 2 pi on the next line. So if I divide by 2 pi, I'm left here with r cubed is equal to 3v all over 2 pi. Because if I'm multiplying on this side, take it over the equals and do the opposite of it, I divide by it. So I've got r cubed is equal to 3v all over 2 pi. Okay, And from there, what I'd have is, I'd have r is equal to, and it's going to be the cubed root of 3v all over 2 pi. So let's substitute some of the values that we know in just now. So I know what the, the volume is. The volume of sand is 113.1. So what I'd be trying to work out is the cube root of 3 times 113.1 all divided by 2 pi. Okay, just put that into the calculator, 3 times uh, 113.1, all divided by 2, divided by pi, and that's going to give me an answer of 53.95, okay? And I've still got to take the cube root of that. Taking the cube root of it, and what we'll come up with here is 3.77856, and if I just want to round that one, I'll go for two decimal places on this one and that's going to be in centimetres and that's to two decimal places and that'll be the final answer there right for marking for this one here I'm going to get two marks for part A so let's go for one mark for substituting correctly into the formula and one mark for getting the volume of sand Next mark that I'm going to look for is I'm going to get a mark where a C R cubed is equal to this here. Or if the values are put in place, the values can be in there as well. I'll get one mark for this part here, so working out the 53.95. And then finally, getting the cubed root, and that's going to be 3.78 as the final answer. Two marks for part A, three marks for part B, so this question here, out of five.